what is the self? Most of us share a strong intuition that our own self is an irreducible whole, that there must be some place in our brain where our perception and our sensation all get together and create thoughts and imagination and define our future. But neuroscience today is discovering that there is no single brain structure that embodies the self, and it's pointing to the fact that what is creating the sense of self is a complex mental neurological map allowing us to function as one single organism. Biology tells us that the human body is actually an ecosystem of trillions of bacteria, microbes, viruses, all with their evolutionary agenda. What is then the self, if what I call me is not one organism, but really trillions of different living entities? And look at the internet, this amazing web of connection in which each one of us is like a neuron, giving input and receiving information as much as viruses and bacteria are doing inside our body. Body and mind, our skin, can no longer be used to define the boundary of ourself. We are all connected with nature, with billions of people. Could it be this illusionary image of ourselves as separate beings that is keeping us in this perpetual state of anxiety, scarcity, fear, dissatisfaction, and leading us as a society at this very delicate point in evolution with the current ecological, economic, and social crisis? We need a new story, a new myth, to redefine our role as human in this interconnected universe. As the astronomer Carl Sagan said, we live on a small rock circling a star, which is one of 400 billion stars comprising our galaxy, which is only one of billions of galaxies comprising our universe, which is possibly not even the only universe out there. And that is a perspective on human life well worth pondering upon while we celebrate the mystery of the self.